In this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple job system so you will carry boxes or some items and get paid. So let's get started. So first thing we need to do is um, let's make a couple of models like some boxes or something like that and I will import a rig so we not know what the size is and I just anchor them and we can make them sand okay so these can be our boxes doesn't really matter um, how they look and let's just group them you don't even really need this model but it's just for the looks Okay, and now um, we'll take one out, we'll need that later. And now what you want to do is, um, let's make a circle and make it green. Call it cell. Okay, and then uh, we can make uh, this kind of thing where you get your boxes so you can do this a couple of ways um, the way I'm going to do it is basically use a proximity prompt to take the box and then when our character steps on this it will sell the box and you will get the money okay so in here we insert our proximity prompt we can put action text, uh, take box, put this to 0.5, and yeah, that's basically it. Or we can put a box job in object text. And we can make this turn transparent and can collide set to false. Okay, so now we'll insert um, a script inside of the server script service. We call it leader stats. Okay, so first of all, game dot players dot player added next function player. So um, put player inside of this because we will need a player in local leader stats equals um, instance dot new folder and then comma player. So uh, what this does is basically make a new instance uh, that's a folder inside of the player. Now leader stats that name equals leader stats, and this is important that you name it like this so it can show um, at the side of the, on the window. And then local money equals instance dot new, and we can make a value. Let's make it a number value, and then the parent of the money will be the leader stats we made before, and money dot name equals money, and then we can start off putting the value equals. You can put zero or whatever you want the starting um, money to be. I will put zero for now. Okay, so that's it for that script. Now insert another script. And this will be a job handler. So first we need to make a, f a few variables. So local cell equals workspace dot cell. Then local prompt is workspace prompt. Okay. And before going any further, uh, what you need to do is inside of the workspace insert a tool and rename it box and then take this part from before uninhere it and then just cut it and paste it inside of this box and then you can use a plugin for for tool, tool grip oh and actually rename this to handle so it can be recognized as a handle of a tool
And now we can just... We're better, okay, that's, that's good. Okay, now take this box and paste it inside of the server storage. And go back to the job handler script. Okay, then play local box tool equals game get service server storage dot box. Okay, so now prompt proximity prompt the trigger and then connect function inside of this put player because we need to get the player to trigger the proximity prompt. And I'll also put a clone here because we will actually need to clone the tool. First of all, if not player dot character pointer child box tool or or actually no not box tool but box because the tool name is box and player dot backpack uh, forgot to put not here, or actually not or but I mean and so it takes both, both cases and then find for child box again and then so basically if the player al already doesn't have the box inside of the backpack or character and then we can type box tool dot parent equals player dot character Okay, so let's see. As you can see, the leader stats works. And if we trigger this, it gives us a box. But now, of course, we need a way to sell it because we can't really do nothing for now. So let's do the selling part. Okay, so now we need sell dot touched connect function. And this time, inside of this, put hit because we obviously need a player that touched the part. So local player because hit the parent because it's on the floor so we will probably hit it with the legs. So then we know that the parent of the part that hit it is a player or actually a character. And then local player because character dot parent okay and now if character point for child box then uh, player dot leader stats money value plus that plus equals 50 and character point for child box destroy Okay, so if the player is carrying the box in his hands and has it equipped and it stands on the cell part, it should then uh, be awarded uh, 50 money and the box will be destroyed. Okay, so first of all... Oh, okay, I forgot to enter that. We can do that in here. Yeah, okay, now it's not moving. Okay, so as you can see my money stayed zero because I don't have a box. And if we take it, and let's just test this. Yeah, as you can see, I can't take any more boxes because I already have one. Okay, so it seems we have a bug. Okay, I found out what the bug was. So, instead of this player, we need uh, first to make a service. Local player service. Okay. Players. players here and then get player from character and then um, put character inside of this so now this should uh, be much better it should actually work let's just open the output if we take a box and yeah as you can see now it works so the box got deleted and we got 50 money okay so it seems we got another error 
when trying to get another box so let's fix that okay so this error is actually really easy to fix all we need to do is cut this and then paste it inside of this so this should work now let's get a box we sold it and let's get another one and as you can see now it works it has no errors so that was an easy fix and yeah that's basically it, how you make a easy selling system or a job system inside of the Roblox Studio. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful. And of course join the Discord down below for free stuff or if you need help scripting or you want to just suggest a video. Thanks for watching.